Earlier this week, I told you about my experience as one of the first in Southern Arizona to receive the COVID-19 vaccine as a participant in Moderna's phase three trial. I've received a lot of questions about the promising vaccine and just how it's supposed to work. If we have a vaccine, what a difference that'll make. Dr. Jack McGettigan understands the importance of this vaccine trial. He's the owner of Quality of Life Medical and Research Center, as well as the head of the Tucson portion of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine trial. Here's how it works. It's a double-blind study. Half receive two doses of the vaccine 28 days apart. The other half get two injections of a placebo. I received my first dose on Tuesday. So what's in the vaccine? It is not the live virus. As this promotional video shows, Moderna scientists actually identified the spike protein on the surface of the virus as a good vaccine candidate. The instructions for making the spike protein were then encoded into an instruction molecule called mRNA, which could be administered directly to patients as a vaccine. The body sees the mRNA and reacts as if cells have been infected with the virus. The immune cells of the body then learn about the spike protein and will defend the body if it ever actually comes in contact with the coronavirus. Essentially, the patient makes their own vaccine. This cuts out the middleman. The science behind this vaccine and the data in early trials is encouraging to researchers like Dr. McGettigan. The data I saw from the from phase one that was published in the New England Journal that was very, very positive. Made me feel very uh, happy to be a part of this because I think it may prove to be one of. The, I mean, we're not. We got what we got to figure out. Yes. It's certainly hopeful that it could be one of the answers we need. Again, it's not a live virus. Another question I've been asked, how will you know that it actually works? Well, participants like me will have our blood checked regularly for antibodies to the virus. Now, the Tucson Clinic is seeing about 20 participants per day, but that'll ramp up over the next few weeks. They hope to have 1,000 Tucsonans enrolled in the trial. Nationally, there will be 30,000.